much, Roberto, for joining us today. Um, it's wonderful to be here in this uh, Ideal Standard showroom and see your wonderful designs as well. Can you talk a bit about like your collaboration with Ideal Standard? How did it come to be? I've been uh, invited to be the Chief Design Officer of Ideal Standard four years ago. Uh, they decided to renovate uh, the philosophy of the brand and they, they decided to, to ask me to help them. And so uh, after, uh, I mean, it was already 25 years almost I was working in this trade and I was uh, experienced. Let me say, I don't want to say old, <laughs> but I say experienced. And uh, I did a lot uh, in the past, so uh, I think uh, perhaps I was the, the right person at the right time to, to work together and develop uh, a new philosophy for and uh, make this brand uh, to be great again. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is definitely a what you have done. <laughs> no, it's a big responsibility <laughs> because is. we have to hurry up because, uh, you know, <laughs> we have to really to, to, uh, to be ready for the new challenges that uh, the worlds are changing, the rules are changing, uh, and new, uh, new towns are growing up uh, every day, and uh, especially here in the Middle East, uh, there is so many things to do, and to, we have to be ready uh, with our portfolio, with our philosophy, with our strategies uh, to catch these opportunities, even in this moment of crisis, but, yeah. but uh, uh, the show must go on. Yeah, definitely. And I think that's a very interesting point you mentioned, you know, because design keeps changing, like it's so dynamic. And now more than ever, it's super fast. How do you make sure the latest collections are, you know, up to the mark, up to the what this industry needs? Because, uh, uh, well, first of all, I, I don't know. I, I hope because I'm very <laughs> humble. I have to say because nobody knows. I'm not. Uh, I mean, I can't see the future. But uh, I can tell you that in uh, in, uh, in so many years, I've learned uh, a good lesson. Um, when you make simple, uh, pure design, uh, when what you do is visible, is clearly, is clear, understandable, uh, and you work uh, not just following the trends but following the values, normally this design is not going to be old-fashioned in, in one year. So, I don't follow trends. I think uh, that uh, fashion fades, yeah. so I think that uh, we have to try to look at the values, uh, look at the quality, look at the proportions uh, and the motion, the real ones, and try to keep them uh, the target of the, our job. Then are you sure or you? You have more opportunities that your job will be long-lasting uh, and, uh, and evergreen. Uh, in terms of like technology, integrating technology, is there a massive ask from the client side for making sure that you know um, latest designs are fitted with big technologies, or is it just a perception? I mean, te technology is very important for us in many cases. Because, first of all, because we are in uh, an industry, and the is a big industry, so uh, we have. Uh, uh, massive production in the center of Europe, basically. And uh, we, um, uh, we produce uh, with the high, uh, high pressure uh, technologies, uh, both fittings and both sanitary wares in ceramic. So technology is, a, is, a, is important to be always updated in, in terms of this kind of technologies because we want to be uh, always uh, uh, keeping uh, the best quality and, uh, and the new, the, the best quality that we can give. On the other side, uh, technology is very important also in terms of environmental issues because uh, new technologies are also targeting to try to bring uh, envir environment uh, uh, and ecological uh, uh, um, issues in, in, the, in the right way. Uh, for example, for us it was very interesting, we launched a, a new material that is a new ceramic that is named Diamond Tech and this ceramic is uh, uh, very, very thin and very uh, robust, very, very strong. Um, the good thing is that uh, we can produce the same uh, basin, for example, with, uh, let me say, 35-40% of less material, less raw material. And I always say, if you, if you look around you, whatever you see around you, even your clothes, are stolen by the nature. Nothing that you see was coming, was coming from the sky. <laughs> Everything has been 
uh, the, the, the wood, the leather, the, we, we stolen from a cow, the wood is stolen from the forest, uh, the, the stone was stolen from the earth. Everything was stolen to the nature. So we start to reduce the quantity of raw material that we use. We are thinking how much, how less we are taking away from our planet. This is a good start. And on the other side, you have to think that, for example, ceramic needs to be put in a oven to be, to be cooked. And, uh, and the less material you have, the less energy you need to, to produce it. And to produce that, you have to use water to inject in, uh, in the mold. But the less material you have, less water you have to use. So, less material stolen, less water, less energy. And also, this material is, is uh, more white than the traditional uh, ceramic, so we'll need less glaze. So many things that, uh, that will say less, 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 mm. this makes this product more and more and more ecological. That's so true. I yeah. mean, sustainability is like the topic of the art. I mean, it has been for quite some time. And now more than ever, we are realizing our impact on the nature as well. And you, you know, so finely put it, like literally we take everything from nature, so less of it will actually help. And that's such a great message as well. Um, in terms of like your latest collections, what can you tell us about in terms of design and, uh, you know, how is it geared towards this particular market? Um, we, we design uh, um, basically, and I understand that the, the philosophy is to try to be more and more uh, open to uh, the evolution of the, the style of, uh, of the contemporary um, architecture and design. And to do that, we understood very well that today there is not one style. There are many, many styles all over the world. And this is very important because uh, this kind of freedom in terms of aesthetic needs to be satisfied with different kind of products. What we have done, we have done, we create a, a very large portfolio from the high end to the smart premium uh, in order to be able to give the opportunity to all the designers all over the world to create their own uh, design, their own, all, uh, their own environment, their own bathroom design using our tools like uh, like the elements like uh, of, a, of a of a food recipe you know so you you can cook uh, a different kind of recipe using the same element mixing the different kind of finishes the colors of the fitting the ceramic the shapes the function and so on the furniture uh, and you can create adding i don't know the tiles, the marble, the mosaic, uh, the resin, all these kind of materials, the, the nice colors and so on. But you can use our tools like, a, like, a, like the base to create their own singularity, their own uh, uni unicity. And this kind of approach, we call it singular. Mm -hmm. And this is a philosophy that we are using to exactly to, to underline this kind of freedom. Singular is a, is a sense of freedom. And this is exactly what we want to, we want to say. Uh, a good industrial product, but designed to be, uh, in, to be used in a unique way. Talking a little bit about your experience as well, you did mention you know, some of the products that are changing. Um, besides the ceramics itself, is there any other more additional options being provided with your latest collections or any other new materials being used? Well, uh, bathroom has, uh, for, uh, for technical reasons, uh, is very much linked to the water, uh, so they have traditional, uh, traditional materials, so like uh, ceramics, for example, even if we, we create this new ceramic, but uh, also the, the metal we use for the, for the faucet, for example. I can tell you that uh, we are working, in, uh, for example, in, in, in faucet with aluminium. Aluminium that is 100% recyclable, and uh, uh, we are working in a special shower that is fully made in aluminium and the special shower uh, will be uh, very sustainable because uh, is first of all the best part of the body of the shower is made in aluminium and is disassemblable. What does it mean? It means that uh, every, every part can be disassembled so all the aluminium part can be recycled and the other part can be disassembled and some other part can be recycled in a different way. So this is very important because in this way we create a product that is 100% uh, uh, sustainable. Uh, any hint about your future projects or future collections? 
Oh, I told you about uh, this aluminum shower uh, and there is a new big collection coming uh, in the next year. Uh, we are working even on, uh, on the kitchen area with the faucets for the kitchen. It was called gusto, it's, that means taste in, in Italian. And uh, you, so we are going to have a collection of uh, kitchen mixers. Uh, we are going to have uh, well, a, lot of, a lot of new things. Uh, but I, I leave you discover it in, uh, in the, in the next, uh, in the next uh, opportunities to meet. Yes. But there will be a lot coming. A lot of coming. A lot of inspiration, a lot of lifestyle, a lot of products. Uh, we already design it, we already prototype it. We are, we are very happy. A brand that uh, uh, is, uh, is really in, in a mo fantastic moment of energy and creativity. This showroom is the, is the demonstration that uh, the brand is uh, very pushy and, uh, and wants to be uh, a perfect partner for, for perfect design. So we are sure that you, you will, we will be uh, ready for the, the expectation of our partners. Perfect, and on that note, I'm gonna thank you for joining me on this talk. <laughs>